I have a number of cameras and this is my DSL camera which I use to take pictures. When I started making vlog, I used the GoPro Hero 4, it's small and agile. When I pair with the gimbal, it stabilized my vlog. However, the video quality was not good and the camera had some issues. Then I switched to another camera, the Canon M6. It was the perfect camera for vlogging because it has a flip screen. It is too big and it's quite stressful for my arm so I need something compact. So I switched to DJI Pocket 2. So I used to use this camera, the DJI Pocket 2 to make all my vlogs because it's very light, easy to use and it has a gimbal to stabilize the image. However, recently this camera doesn't work anymore. I desperately need a vlogging camera that is small, light, compact and most importantly, reliable. So I bought this Canon PowerShot V10. I like to call it V10 because it resonates with the V10 car engine. This camera doesn't work anymore. Uh, during my trip to Krabi, when we were on our way to the airport, I accidentally dropped this camera on the floor. And after that, there's something wrong with the gimbal and I can't make any video with this camera anymore. And coincidentally, the Canon released a new vlogging camera called the V10. I immediately bought the camera because uh, Canon is so famous with the camera and I have at least two Canon cameras. One is the DSLR. I have been using it since 2011. Another one is the Macy's camera, Canon M6. I have been using it for more than five years. Canon cameras actually are quite uh, well built and it is long lasting. So it has a, a good reputation. That's why I bought a, this new Canon V10. And it's my first time using this V10 to vlog. I'm gonna go out to get some breakfast and uh, I can test out this camera to see whether it is as good as it claims. Previously, when I was vlogging with my DJI Pocket 2 in this car, especially the car has a dark interior like this one, the camera was struggling to get the balance exposure and my face probably would look over exposure a bit. But using this Canon V10, seems like the exposure is quite balanced. In one of my videos, there was one comment saying that I should have gotten a better camera. It seems like the DJI Pocket Tube video quality was not so good. But by looking at the screen from this camera, it seems like the video quality is crystal clear. I'm very impressed with this V10. I just noticed this camera is perfectly fit in front of the digital entertainment screen of the Mazda 3 and I can drive while vlogging. That's a good thing and it doesn't wobble much. to the usual place to have my breakfast. I'm thinking to have uh, Gong Fu Chao Yun Yun, my favorite. There's uh, one uncle that actually uh, cook very nice uh, Gong Fu Chao Yun Yun. So the good thing about this camera is it's uh, so small and it's in black. So nobody actually notice I'm carrying a camera and I still can walk without getting much attention. Okay, I'm leaving the restaurant now. Today is my first day using this camera. I have no idea how the sound quality sounds like except I have watched some review videos from some of the YouTubers. It's not too bad. Hopefully when I edit this video, the sound quality will be good enough and clear and crystal enough for the audience to enjoy. Early in the morning, I have tried the live stream function but in my Google account, I have multiple YouTube channels. When I live stream, the camera will the first YouTube channel by default and I have no option to choose other channels that's why I couldn't live stream my second channel it was so frustrated I tried many ways and tried to google it I couldn't get a solution at all so eventually I gave up the live stream I hope uh, Canon 
we were able to rectify this uh, limitation by updating the firmware. This is my camera here. Uh, really? Why so dirty in my hand? <laughs> this is my new camera. Do you like it? Yeah. How about your yellow camera? Next is to test the digital stabilization without zoom. Then I change to 1.5x zoom. Then the video seems like a bit shaky. When I change to 2x zoom, the footage becomes a lot more shaky. Today is the second day of using this new camera, Canon V10. Hey, Lolo, where have you been? Yesterday I have driven the Mazda 3 and today I'm going to drive the Nissan Tiana which has a different design. I'm going to test out whether this is a good camera with a flat dashboard. To be honest, I don't think it's a good idea to put the camera on a flat dash. I believe it will wobble and drop. Master 3 probably is a better car for this camera. Just proof that I'm right, so I have to handheld the camera while driving. Next, I want to test the camera with the Boya wireless mic. It comes with the transmitter and receiver. I want to test out whether the camera works well with wireless mic. First of all, start without the wireless mic. So the sound recording comes directly from the built-in mic in the camera. Next, this is with the wireless mic setting. The good thing about wireless mic is you can go anywhere, whether it's near to the camera or further from the camera, you will still get a very consistent sound quality. That wraps up my honest review on this Canon V10. I'll be traveling again soon to Europe in the next two months. I definitely need a very reliable camera. So that's why I bought this Canon V10. That's the wrap of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.